The little guy died this morning. He didn't eat his cheese. Starved to death. So it goes. Wyatt. Huh? You. I'm talking to you, Wyatt. Oh, the kid. Yeah, he's not here anymore. He went looking for the truth, but he didn't like what he found. Look, uh, you're talking crazy, man. You gotta get with the program. We need you. We're moving out. Come on, Wyatt. My kid's father had his future all staked out for him. Ivy League straight to the top of congressional power. Cut him off when he joined the military. Ungrateful brat, he called him. The kid's mother fell into a depression in that big, dark house. Same day the kid shipped off for Europe, she swallowed a bottle of pills. And that was it. That was that. I'm gonna take you to Sen. He's gonna fix you right up. You're, you're just a little confused is all. Come on now. No, 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 no. Wyatt. Come on now. Wyatt. I'm your buddy, remember? He saw perfect patterns. Swallowing branches of a great tree. The all-knowing space entity at the center gazing upon him. Uh, uh, the kid is approaching the apex of the universe, uh, but it all slipped away. <laughs> and a colossal black trench opened up, swallowing the colors, and the kid couldn't see anything except for a trans-dimensional gaping maw swallowing his soul. Oh, nothing matters anymore, man. Oh, sunset for humanity. <laughs> Tell him that he's sorry. Tell him. Tell him that he loved him. Okay. Oh shit. What's wrong with him? A uh, heavy dosage of psychedelics. Now listen to this. Back in the days of Das Yichid, we used similar substances many times. Never, ever, anyone had the clarity of vision that Wyatt has. It's remarkable. Will he be okay? Well, uh, I'm flushing his system right now. You should be fine. Is this some kind of a doorknob set? Yep. No, 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 Jingle. A note. What did you say? Wyatt. Don't ever forget who you are, man. Don't forget who we are. Don't forget what we are, soldier. I feel much better now, Cap. Back in my own body. You realize you're still wearing your party hat? <laughs> I had to, uh... I had to punch you out. I'm sorry. Yeah, I remember that. Needed it, I guess. Doorknob, he says. Hey, Wyatt. Love you, man. My brothers and sisters, check this out. In less than six hours, Frau Engel is going to make a scheduled appearance on the Jimmy Carver Show, live from Hollywood, California. Now, while that bitch is getting her ass kissed on national television, we're gonna infiltrate the Ausmercer, disable the Odin defense system, and hijack her ship. And then we find that bitch, and we take her out. What you got? Frau Grace, I decrypted the Odin codes Hep Leskovich brought back from Venus. Turns out, it's just one simple word. Valhalla. Type in Valhalla in any of the Odin terminals, and you will have permission to shut down the automated defense systems. Well, all right. Now, fuck off, Nazi. Like I was saying, we are going to find that bitch, and we are going to take her Grace! out. What? <laughs> Don't ever call me a Nazi again. I am not a Nazi. You do oh. not have the right to label me as something I am not, as someone less than yourself, as someone less than human. Say it! Uh, Say I'm not a Nazi! Uh, all right, 
Okay, I get it. You're not a Nazi. <laughs> it's you. I'm in love with you. Don't you understand that you dumb idiot? And it hurts. It hurts that you are so stupid you don't love me back. But I will dry the tears from my eyes. Get over it and move on. Because I don't need you to be happy. I will just be mentally using your body from time to time for my own personal pleasure. And there's nothing you can do about that. Sigrun. But I'm leaving, okay? No, wait. Don't be silly. <laughs> oh, you coming with us. All right, Sig. You're the expert here. Lay it out for us. We have to approach fast and low. That will buy us time before we are detected by Odin's radar. Once we are directly below the Erzmerzer, we must ascend rapidly and vertically. This will give us the greatest chance of surviving Odin's opening salvo. If we are lucky, we make it back out before Odin has a missile lock on us. Three different Odin control centers on the Ausmerzer. Two of them controlling the automated defense system. The Hugen control center for the port defenses. The Munin control center for the starboard defenses. Finally, there's the Odin main control center for the ship itself. Understood. How do we get to them? There's a terminal concealed in the floor in the center of the room, which will open the door leading to the Hugen control center. Found it. The other parts of the ship are harder to access from your location. Bring up the ship's schematics in the terminal and see if there's a way to reach them, Anya. William, find a Hugen control center and shut down the port defense system. I'll stay here and try to figure out our way around this ship.
H A L L A. Well done, William. The port defense systems are offline. Get back here as soon as possible. I think I found a way to reach our other objectives. William, I need some help here. Hurry, please. Jump into the transport pod, they're on the other side. I've reprogrammed these to take us to the upper parts of the ship. We can reach the other Orion control centers from up there. Hold on. I love you, William. another shaft on the other side. You should be able to reach the Munin control center from there. I need you to go there and shut down the starboard defense system. I'll keep making my way to the Odin main control center.
William, I'm closing in on the Odin main control center. Let's meet there once you've disabled the starboard defense system. William, now that the starboard defense system is shut down, you can go back out to the troop deployment hall and climb up the robotic deployment arm. I'm outside the Odin main control center. Lots of activity in this place. Get here as fast as you can. be the old main control center. I'm on my way, aren't you? to hear you getting close, William.
think I'm done with this. <laughs> you okay? I'm fine. Fuck me. You got your shit, bitch. Look here, Frank. I'm still shooting the shit in the TV. This was your dress? I thought it was a trash bag. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> Wunderbar. Wunderbar. <laughs> we'll be right back with more from General Angle and Decapper after this. Can I stay here? I just can't be a part of what must be done. It's okay, Sig. You've earned your keep. Now for the rest of y'all. Y'all ready to start a revolution? Let's do this. <sighs> Camera three, truck left for your wide shot. Stop, Gunther. Stand by. What? Look! <sighs> Stay on the air. Go do what you have to do, darling. Jesus, it can't be him. God, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Feeling it, General? Doom is coming. Give it up for the fine young man, D. Capper! Best players money can buy. Please leave your tip on the way out. <laughs> All right. Okay. Welcome back. We're here with a true hero. One of the biggest names we've ever had on this show. The scourge of terrorists everywhere. This needs to happen up close. For you, Caroline. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank General you. <laughs> you are too kind. <laughs> all right. All right. General, I'm going to say, what the hell? You're dead. Jesus fucking I Christ. Saw you from your shoulders. Oh, I killed you. <laughs> I'm the best you got. Then your best won't do. You're my wolf now. And these are our words. My brothers and sisters of the United States of America. Don't listen to that lying bitch. These Nazi fucks are all going to get what's coming to them tonight. We are not going to take it anymore. Oh. Do it. Oh. Americans. Americans. Wherever you are. I wish I had words of comfort to give you like the warm winds that this Nazi general sent down from above. But for me, you will not get comfort. Only the cold, agonizing truth. And the truth is this great nation has been raped and pillaged by the greatest enemy of our time. They ask you to sell your liberty, to purchase your safety, to kneel to the new order, to submit to the winds of change. But my fellow Americans, they that sow the wind shall reap the whirlwind. Preach. You were born in the land of the free. You fought the kings of old and broke them. You gave your lives for the simplest but most essential 
truth of all. Give me liberty or give me death. Right on, Wyatt. In your veins runs the blood of revolutionaries. So tonight, brandish your guns, your knives, and your fists. Seek out your oppressors wherever they are and tell them we don't want nothing. Not a thing from you. Tonight, we show those that sow the wind that we, we are the whirlwind. <laughs>